Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Diamond Painting with Anxiety. I'm Karen. So today I wanted to work on a project that I've been planning to do for quite some time. I finished this copy is always a good idea from DAC, I don't know, I think back last winter. It's been quite a while and this is a piece that I actually created for myself and I want to incorporate here in my own studio apartment and I wanted to frame it. The area that I'm going to put it in, I don't have a whole lot of wall space so I wanted to do some simple kind of framing. So I've kind of gone back and forth with how I was going to do that. Um, thought of you know some various ideas, looked at some various frames and then I realized that because this is a Diamond Art Club canvas, their borders on these are just I mean, they're just beautiful. Um, they're even. They have the nice surging around the edges. They're just really, really good quality. So I realized that I could just, you know, put this up without a frame. And I thought to myself about, you know, trimming the edge out. And I thought I could do that. But then I kind of thought, and I think I've seen people do this before or heard about it. I may have even done it myself. I can't remember. But what I decided to do was to go ahead and try and paint this canvas border around this. I mean, it's printed on, so I'm thinking it might be a little bit difficult to cover, but it is canvas, so I should be able to paint it. I think other people have done it too. I went back and forth about what colors I wanted to use and finally when I was looking for some paint for a different project I found this wonderful um, folk art multi-surface um, I don't know if you, how well you can see that this bronze uh, color and so I realized that that's what I wanted to use, that that would look gorgeous on this copy um, painting with some br bronze. Um, so what I have found when I use metallic colors is it's, it works a little bit better if you put a darker color in the same color family underneath it. So I've got here just kind of, you know, a, ba oh, shoot, a basic chocolate brown that I'm going to use as a base coat. And then I'm going to put the bronze on top of it. Now this is just a ceramic coat. I got both of these at Joann's Fabrics. I think I paid like about a dollar for, for each one of these. So like for $2. Um, and because you could do, I'm assuming, many canvases with these, this would be a really inexpensive way to frame. So... Let's go ahead and give this a try and see how it works. Now I'm going to turn the camera off for a second, kind of reposition some things so that I can work on this a little bit easier. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I did rep reposition myself and I went and grabbed a couple of things. I grabbed just a couple of, you know, basic plastic round lids um, because I know the paint will... Um, these are both acrylics, so I know it'll come off those easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some of the brown on the lid. I've got some paint brushes here of various sizes. I, wanna, I think I want to use a fairly big one at least at some point. Uh, because I don't want to, this to take forever and a day. Mm. But I also want something that's going to be able to kind of cut into the edge. So I want to, you know, try and be as careful as I can to not get them on my, my drills. Um, so I'm just trying to find find a good brush here in the collection of brushes I have. I'll be right with you. Mm, I don't know. This one, I think I'm going to try this brush. See, it's it's pretty good size. You know, I think I think I might be able to make this work. So 
let's see. I'm going to flip this around because I think I want to start over in this area here where the, the schematic and the, the thumbnail of this uh, for this painting are just to kind of see how difficult some of this stuff is going to be to cover. Like I said, I've never actually done this, so I'm not quite sure how this will work. I'm kind of thinking that what I may need to do is use two coats of the dark brown acrylic. I'm going, I get kind of quiet, it seems like, when I get right up to that edge. And I know that I'm going to need to cut that in very carefully. Of course, I had a hair in there. Me and my hair, it's always everywhere. Anyway, I get a little quiet when I have to cut into these drills because I want to get all the way up to that edge but not get onto my drills as much as possible. So we'll see how this is going to work. As I spread this out, I feel like it's covering actually pretty well. Even that... Um, thumbnail which was really dark. The trick is definitely going to be getting up alongside these drills without getting the paint on them. So I've got a lot of completed diamond paintings sitting around that are not framed so I can't really call them finally finished. Um, some of them I want to get up some of them I want to get you know framed or finished to protect so it's just time for me to start focusing on you know some of the final steps to getting these paintings done um, one of the things that you may know about me if you've uh, watched my channel for very long when it comes to framing and finishing my canvases I really like to do two things, and that's to be get creative with it, and also to be frugal. I frame not only and finish not only my diamond paintings, but also the diamond paintings of the residents here at his house. And so, you know, I have to do that on a budget as much as possible. So. Nothing delights me more than finding an inexpensive framing and finishing option. And, you know, at $2, like I was saying, I would assume you would be able to do at least several um, frames that are painted like this with these two containers of paint. So I think, you know, that would definitely qualify as a frugal option so and on some of the diamond paintings that I've gotten from like AliExpress or um, even Amazon the you know the quality of the canvas that they're printed on is not as good as these diamond art clubs so you know, they may not be real even, or they may be a little frayed along the edge, so it wouldn't be possible with all canvases, but there are definitely some canvases that, you know, this could be done with as a quick and inexpensive framing option. Well, I say quick and ex inexpensive. I don't know so much about quick part because I'm not quite sure how quick this is going to be. This um, board that I'm working on is actually a piece of uh, poster board. It's the plastic type of poster board. I guess it's kind of like a project board or something along those lines that I have covered over with some shelf paper. So it'll be nice and easy to wipe down, I think. 
get this acrylic paint off. So I feel like if I can get this on even enough, you might be able to get away with just one coat of the brown. It's it looks like it's going on pretty pretty evenly. So I don't want to make you wa literally watch paint dry. So I'm going to go ahead and pause now and I'll finish these four sides. We'll let it dry and then we'll come back, see where we're at, and move on to the next step. Okay, you guys, we're back. It literally has been like maybe 20 minutes. By the time I grabbed another cup of hot coffee, sat down to watch the um, first couple of clips that I did for this video, um, the side that um, I started with is completely dry. Um, it looks really, really good. You could definitely get away with just one coat, even if you were going to um, just, you know, use the flat brown, as long as you get it um, spread out evenly and don't touch it. I did touch it right there. Um, I don't know. I'm debating on whether or not I should zoom you guys in. Um, I don't think so. I think we're going to leave it like it is. Oh, and right up here, I touched it as well. Um, so as long as you didn't touch it, I think one coat, maybe two light coats would be, would be fine. It definitely covered over, uh, one coat covered over all of the, you know, the printed material, the information from Diamond Art Club along the sides, the schematic, the thumbnail, all of that. Um, if I was going to just do this brown, I would probably do another coat just to even it up a little bit. But since I'm going to put the bronze over top of it, I don't think I'm going to even worry about doing it because it's definitely, you know, nice enough that um, the bronze can just be my next coat. So this um, dark coat that I put underneath was brown velvet. Now I'm going to use Folk Art, um, what's the color? Chocolate Brown. I'm going to shake this up real good. The very first thing I'm going to do is just a little quick touch up on this part that I touched up here. Because, yeah, I don't know. Okay. And then I think I realized that my paintbrush would actually go inside these. So to make this quicker and easier with no muss, no fuss, I think I'm just going to dip the paintbrush. Oh, maybe not. It doesn't quite go in. I don't know. The, the, it went in the other one. Maybe the top on this is a little bit different. Um, I don't know. I put about that size drop on of the brown on, and it covered the entire thing. So when you get that out, it's really a pretty um, golden, bronze, sparkly, metallic color. So I'm super excited to see how it's going to look on this canvas with a brown underneath it. Now, I'm kind of expecting, but again, I could be wrong. I'm sort of expecting that I usually find whenever I use metallic paints that I definitely need two coats. But I don't know, because this is canvas, which acrylic paints are supposed to go on canvas, that may not be the case, but we'll see. So I'm just putting this on with that. I don't know if it's the dark brown behind it. Um, I'm really feeling like this is going to end up looking more gold than bronze, but I'm sure it's still going to be gorgeous. Again, I may need two coats to you know, get the true color. 
from this paint. Ooh, I got my diamonds right there. But it's acrylic. So it's easy to wipe off, just like that. Disappeared. <clears throat> Again, um, you know, I don't know, maybe it might be a good idea to, because I was definitely thinking more of a bronze color. I think this is going to be pretty, though. But maybe what I should have done was test the color somehow. But again, this is acrylic paint. So if you don't like the way it turns out, you can always paint over it. So. Oh, you guys, it's looking really cool. I'm really liking it. I can't believe how quickly it dried. Super nice. So this definitely is a quick framing option, so to speak. Not as quick as just, you know, throwing it in a frame, maybe. But I've had some, some pieces that I've put into frames that have taken me, like, inordinate amounts of time to, like, mess around with and, and get right. So that's not always the quickest thing either. So yeah, just a little bit of paint. So this is definitely, uh, like I said, I don't know about quick. Um, but I would say definitely frugal because just a little tiny bit of paint does the entire border create your entire frame. So I'm going to spread this out, try to get as many of those brush marks out as I can. Again, I'm not going to make you watch paint dry. We're going to let it dry and then we will come back and see what we think of the final color and then decide whether or not we're going to put, you know, a second coat of this bronze on or just leave it as is. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, it's actually been a couple of days and as you can see, it's finished and hanging on the wall. I absolutely love the color. This worked so well. Not only could you just hang it on a wall like that, but you could also use that as sort of like, um, you know, a matting type look if you wanted to go ahead and frame. I love the copper color. It turned out so good. I hung those using the command strip uh, picture hangers. I am going to take it down at some point and redo it and use the poster um, strips instead of the um, picture hangers because the picture hangers are a little bit bulky and that's what's giving me that sort of wavy look. See, you can see that kind of wavy look there. It's because the the picture hangers are just a little bit too thick. Also, when I do redo it, I will put those a little bit closer to the upper corners, all of the corners actually, so that it lays a little bit flatter. So there we have it, you guys. I'm very happy with the way this project turned out. Love the color. The way I'm holding my camera, that looks crooked. It's actually not as crooked as it looks. I just eyeballed it. Anyway, I love the way it looked. I um, love the way it looks in my kitchen here, right above my coffee station. So yeah, excellent project, nice and cheap, and I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So I want to thank you for watching, but before I let you go, I just want to remind you that we can change lives one drill at a time, even if it's just our own, because when we change our lives, the entire world around us is going to change. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.